Hey, how's it going? And welcome to Whiskey Wins with me, Stuart. Today we've got a 24 year old Glen Elgin from Rare Find bottled at 54.7% ABV, non chill filtered, no added colouring, and only £125, which I think is pretty mental for a 24 year old single malt uh, and presented in the way it's presented non chill filtered, no added colouring, and cash strength. So this was a yeah £125, it was a tape split. Uh, so split between our taps half international bottle split between the seven of us and we each got 100ml so I've had a little snifter and a little taste out of this uh, I've realised that it needed water and thanks to someone else in our chat Mark he pointed out that it needs water and he's bang on uh, so I've actually added water to this already uh, and I thought it wasn't worth reviewing without the water because the water really does enhance it so we'll get down to the nose uh, the palate and the finish and we'll see if it is a <laughs> whiskey win, hopefully that focuses, or a whiskey bin. So the nose, oh yeah, <laughs> waxy bananas uh, for sure. There's like dried um, peaches, but these peaches have had maybe a little bit of sugar coated over them, a little dust in the sugar, nothing too, uh, too sweet, but definitely dried peaches with like I said, a little dust in the sugar. There's like a, a real buttery, buttery dough element to this as well. Um, quite creamy, quite thick feeling, like the waxy element, like I said. There is a little bit of like a, I don't know how to say it. I don't want to say grass, because I feel like grass always denotes a young whiskey. But there's something like that. Um, there's something, yeah, something maybe, not herbal, but yeah, <laughs> grass probably is what I'm smelling. There's lots and lots of citrus elements for sure. Um, yeah, definitely. It's very citrus dominant. And I'm gonna say something that just sounds very uh, pretentious, but it's like marshmallows that you've had roasting at the fire and you've put it too close to the fire and you've got some ash on it uh, and you can kind of smell that ash and the sweetness, the sugary um, kind of crystallization of the marshmallow. Uh, so picture that if you will. But the citrus element's definitely the strongest thing here. It's, it's very, very nice. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a nice nose. The palette. Mm. Mm. <laughs> ah, yeah, lovely citrusy goodness <laughs> on the palette. Just, uh, just really coats the mouth and this this kind of film, this waxy, lovely textured mouthfeel. It's refreshing and it's, it's indulgent and it's uh, moorish. Um, there's maybe something like peach puff pastries uh, or, or peach puff pastry tart or something like that. Peach tart, nice hot uh, stewed peaches with that kind of pastry element to it and maybe even if you will, like kind of crushed almonds over the top. Uh, yeah, just go with me on this. It's, uh, it's lovely. Um, I us try to think if there's anything other than the, the, the peach pastry. No, maybe a, maybe a little custard to drizzle over a um, romantic view of a, a peach puff pastry tart. That's a lot to say. Um, but yeah, that's very specific as well. But that's what I'm tasting. Like just, yeah, it's just a combination of things that I've tried to tie it together. Uh, yeah, what a great, what a great palette. It's well, well, um, well built. Well, it's got a great foundation. It's it, no wonder they use this in blends. Uh, it's 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 great. <laughs> it's fantastic. The finish is long. Uh, it clings. It coats. It it, it it covers the mouth in in that lovely film. Uh, you're you're still got it on the the palette. Uh, sorry, on the finish uh, as well as the palette. It's. There's more of like a, a, a nuttiness evolve now, uh, quite nutty, and possibly something like uh, kind of toasted malt uh, with with the, the, the finish. Uh, not as much fruit on, not as much fruit on the finish, just that that kind of, that kind of nuttiness and toasted malt. Uh, I'm going to take another sip of this. Uh, I might just finish it. In fact, yeah, that's that's enough for a, a mouthful in it. Let me see. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Oh, 
yeah, I am getting a little bit more creaminess now, just uh, after basically panning it. <laughs> uh, no, that was enough for a mouth, mouth, uh, full mouth, full mouth, full. <laughs> Jesus. Um, we'll get down to the rating. I'll get this off uh, the coin. So, if you're new here, how I rate my whiskey is on three factors. Uh, would I buy it again? Do I think it's worth it? And would I recommend it? Now, I've had a smile on my face pretty much this full review. So, uh, we obviously split it and I wish I bought a bottle. <laughs> I should have bought a bottle for myself. Um, I may have been greedy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely check the auction for this. I always say that I'm gonna check the auctions and I forget to do it. But this is one I'm gonna check the auction for. Uh, because the experience I've had, the little experience I've had with this has been fantastic. Uh, and I can imagine a full bottle would just, yeah, it would go a long way. So yeah, I would buy it again and I'm hoping to buy it again. So that's that one answered. Do I think it's worth it? Um, yeah, I kind of gave that away at the start. £125 for a 24 year old single malt, it's crazy. Uh, yeah, 24 year old is, is crazy. Even, even by today's standards, I remember kind of years ago, five years ago, 24 year old official bottles were still quite pricey, maybe £200, like £24, 24 year old at £125 I think is a really good deal. Um, and would I recommend it? Yes. If you like creamy, fruity, citrusy uh, goodness then yes, you should definitely try this. It's a 3 out of 3, um, it's got all A's, passes with merit and all that good stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's that's been the review. Thanks for watching. I've been Stuart, this has been Whiskey Wings. I'll see you later.